Buried beneath the rubble of time are stories of God's sovereign hand moving in our great nation. Many believers, hopeless, frustrated, and confused, have all but given up on America. But we have faced dark times before, and by divine providence, overcome. Broadcasting from our studio on Capitol Hill, I'm your host, Brad Wells, with Pastor Mike Creed and Andrew Friedenstein. Today, we are going to look at the Declaration of Independence, how it was brought up for a vote and failed. Then a man with a scarf wrapped around his face on a hot summer day rides in on a horse and literally saves the day. Take a moment with us to look back and find hope from history. Andrew? Tensions were high in the Continental Congress as the vote for independence loomed on the horizon. It was decided in advance that the colonies must stick together. If even one colony voted no, they would all remain under British rule. They would either stand together or hang separately. The vote for independence came up on July 1st, and it failed. Nine colonies voted yes, two voted no, New York abstained, and Delaware was a tie. Now immediately, a messenger was sent to get Delaware's third delegate, who had been called away on a personal emergency. It was decided that they would debate it again in the morning and then vote once more. If it failed again, they were going to table it. Everyone realized if they didn't seize this moment, it might not come again. They needed Delaware's third delegate, a man by the name of Caesar Rodney. The messenger got to Rodney's house at 2 a.m. and explained the circumstances and that the matter of independence would come back up at 9 a.m. that same morning. Caesar Rodney had seven hours to ride the 89 miles to Philadelphia on horseback. He immediately started his journey. Under the best conditions, it would have been a miracle to reach Philadelphia in time. This night, the conditions were horrible. It was storming. The roads turned to mud. Streams that were normally easy to cross had become treacherous. On top of everything else, he was not able to obtain fresh horses till dawn. Nevertheless, he rode on, exhausted, praying he could make it by 9 a.m. He didn't make it. He rode up to what we now call Independence Hall at 1 p.m., four hours later than he wanted to. That very same moment, the vote was finally being taken. He was a sight, utterly spent from riding for almost 12 hours straight, covered in mud with a scarf wrapped around his face on an exceptionally hot July day. He was half carried into the assembly room. Now, unbeknownst to him, the other two colonies that had voted no were now a yes. New York continued to abstain which was fine as long as it wasn't a no vote. It had all come down to Delaware. The vote was split again, one for and one against. Barely able to speak, Rodney cast the deciding vote for independence. Two days later, the Declaration of Independence was adopted. So what, what's with the scarf, Andrew? <laughs> That's a good question. It doesn't really fit into the uh, to the time, does it? It's a July day. Yeah. Well, the the answer to that is, it's actually tragic and heroic at the same time. Hmm. Uh, Rodney had a cancer of the face. Wow. So it had progressed to the extent that his jaw had actually become disfigured. Wow. And so he wore this scarf uh, so as not to frighten people by his disfigurement. In fact, very few people knew about that. Um, when he walked into that Independence Hall and cast his vote, you know, everyone's sitting there going, what's with the scarf, man? It's, it's July. It's hot. It's, right. And uh, right. only a few people in the room actually knew, even though some of those people were very good friends of Rodney. But mm -hmm. uh, there was a silver lining, though, on that cloud. You see, there was hope. Uh, he had heard about one doctor who had successfully treated someone with the same problems. Wow. And so Rodney was making preparations to go and see this doctor and hopefully be cured, of course. Uh, but there's just one small problem. What's that? The doctor was in London. By voting uh, for independence, Caesar Rodney eliminated 
any hope of ever seeing that doctor. Wow. He resigned himself to live out the rest of his days watching the cancer eat away at his face. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's stunning. He made that sacrifice for just the possibility. It wasn't guaranteed we were going to win the war. Just the possibility that those that came behind him might know freedom. Wow. So success only comes because of sacrifice. Yeah, that's right. Personal or someone else's. Mm -hmm. Pastor Creed? As we view Caesar Rodney's sacrifice, we're reminded of the scripture, Psalm 15 and verse 4. The Bible says, But he honoreth them that fear the Lord, he that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not. Literally, the scripture shares an oath, and it shares Rodney's sacrifice, and it shares resolve that Rodney had that he was going to be there for the vote. What a great sacrifice. But as I began to think about uh, whether this man was a God-fearing man came to my mind, and I began to re review documents from the Library of Congress of a proclamation that he wrote literally as the executive of Delaware requesting that all the people of that day, uh, as the, the, the executive of the country had requested, he would request the folks of Delaware to stop and confess their sins and, and in thanksgiving to God's hand upon Delaware. Wow. He wow. literally took some time and he said, uh, may we uh, put aside all other activities that have no purpose. Right. May we ob omit those activities and spend yeah. time in our churches, spend time with our families, wow. giving thanks to God, confessing sin for his great hand upon Delaware. Wow. Now, Pastor, when, uh, when did he make that proclamation? When, when, when was that? It was December 7th, 1778. Wow. So the, the war's still going on. So they're saying, let's give thanksgiving to God. And 78 was not a good year. I mean, the war was not going necessarily real well. They didn't know they were going to win. And we really know this, that from the time that he went to Philadelphia, he rode to Philadelphia, mm -hmm. we understand it was only eight years until he went to be with the Lord. Wow. So that means he saw us win the war for independence. So he saw just a little bit of that freedom that he sacrificed for. You think about this. May we have men today that are believers young and old, come to a place that we sacrifice some things to honor God and honor our nation. Pastor Creed, that is, that, is, that is so true. And it just makes us think, what are we going to be willing to sacrifice? So many times we, we're looking for fun and comfort and ease, but it's sacrifice that is going to make the difference in someone else's life. As you celebrate the 4th of July, remember, the Sacrifice of Caesar Rodney. Be sure to listen each week and find hope from history. Learn more on our website, awakeamericaonline.org. Subscribe, share, consider partnering with us in prayer.